Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. Now, this is a remake of a project I made back in February 2014, so six years ago. And that box was people all over the world absolutely loved it so I decided I was going to remake it for you but this time around there's no cutting or rather this is one that you can store completely flat and I wanted to show you how to make it so this is this is the same shape as my original but this time around we're going to store it flat so and I'm making it in paper. I made it in cardstock originally. So you need a piece of paper that is eight by 11 inches, which is 20 by 27 and a half centimeters. Okay, so on the long side, score it at two and nine inches, which is five and 22 and a half centimeters. And then on the short side, and I'm assisted by Kitten, I score it at one, three, five, seven, which again in metric is two and a half, seven and a half, twelve and a half, seventeen and a half, and she, no, those are old instructions. Please don't play with them. I've got a kitten on the, t on the desk. I say kitten, she's not really a kitten anymore, she's almost three. Okay, so first up, burnish the score lines that are on the short side. So there's only two of those, so we'll get those done. And then come and work on the other ones. Okay, so that's the easy part done. Now, if you can see this, this part is folding in and you need that to fold in really before you can start doing anything else. And I might need to bring with my black pen. I'm going to put a score line there and score lines there. So these bits are essentially going to stick together and I need to put a pinch mark in here and you do that literally by getting hold of it and pinching so can you see that I'm hoping you can I've pinched like that okay these ones here when they fold over that's going to fold across to there like so so you're folding this is the the third I don't really know how to word it this so we've got these thirds this one here you fold it in and out okay and then the same here fold it in get hold of that corner and out and so you're left with this sort of funny funny m shape i think that's probably the only way i can describe it so i'm going to turn it round and do it again so remember this one in the middle get hold of it and you're meeting up these two corners oops you're meeting there and you're just lightly pinching with your fingers just there it's not a super deep crease fold in and up okay fold in and out and that is essentially all it is going to be and then it's going to start tucking away now I would advise popping a little bit of glue in here but also these are rectangles in the outer corner so from my score line there I'm going to wedge off just a little bit and I'm going to do that all the way around And that just makes it a little bit easier when you're tucking it all away. Now you can put some glue on here. I am, I'm just gonna grab my snail when I can see my snail. There, there. There and there. And that's how you're gonna store it 
just folded flat oh, when it sticks down, fold flat for storage. But when you start pulling it all together, because you know, it's magic, this bit is going to fold over. It's actually going to tuck in there. It's not going to tuck into this bit. It's going to tuck into that one. It will. <laughs> there we go. So that is tucking in there. And it's just going to hold itself in place as a triangle and bring this bit over and you've got this lovely shape here and here on the end and all you need to do now is ribbon it so I wouldn't put anything like a magnet on I have done in the past and on my original because I made it with cardstock I actually closed it with a belly band but this time round I'm going to use this lovely ribbon so this is petal pink with a champagne edge to it or champagne metallic trim and oh <laughs> runaway ribbon and sorrel is still on the desk and she's going Ooh, is that for me jesus that sat very neatly actually is that a term for a cat sitting neatly i don't know but she looks pretty she also looks very interested in what i'm up to However, because she is a cat, not that interested. She's like, well, you're not giving it to me to play with. There we go. So that's an okay bow. And you can just reposition all of your wibbly bits to get a nice pattern. Actually, that's quite nice on the back, isn't it? But just position everything round. And then to finish, I've got because I've got a little detail on there. I've got this one here, but I've also got the leaves, but I think I'm just gonna go with this one, the smaller flower. And where's my memento? Are you sitting on it, Sorrel? You are helping, are you? So that's on there, and then I need my big shot because this does come with dice. Timeless Tropical and the In the Tropics. Um, die are carrying over into the next castle. So, okay, and we've got a die machine. It's on the way. I'm very excited. Can't order mine yet. So, we've got a big die machine. It's a custom embossed machine, and we've got a smaller one, a little Diddy one. And there might be some stuff for little Diddy cutting and embossing machines too. Is that the right one? No. No. <laughs> there we go. So that one there. Oliver's terribly animated next door. So run that through. Can't wait to get my new machine. This one is very temperamental now. It's had a good life. But it said, yeah, I need to retire pop that on the floor and pop those away and then I've got well these are lovely lipstick which are retiring they may well have already retired I'm not sure I wanted a vibrant pink so I'm going to start off with the light just in the center for the minute and then some dark right in the very middle and then I'm going to come in with uh, Flirty Flamingo. This is the darker one. And go over them all. Sort of spread it out a bit. Back in with some dark. Probably should have been a bit closer. A bit more light. And then this flirty flamingo dark again. And then I'm going to come in with the flirty flamingo light and go right off the edge. 
even off the edge of the die, even though there's a white edge to it. Don't mind. Just make all of those colours blend around. Can I come back in with that in the middle? This is a truly sodden piece of paper. It's soaked. It's gorgeous. It's going to be lovely. Oh, look, that's really changing up the colour now. That is lovely. I love that. But <laughs> it's just as pretty on the other side. But that. Oh, focus on me. Just lovely. So zoom back out again and I'm going to pop that with a dimensional actually I'm going to go with two on there and there you can still open it there are the two dimensionals two dimensionals are at the bottom part so that it's stuck onto there but that I think that's oh Okay, I need to leave that to dry a bit longer, I think, because that is going to pop off because it's so wet on the other side. But I think that's really sweet. A little bit different. A remake of something I made a long, long, long time ago. And this one I need to get, somehow need to get that ribbon back on there because that's, you know, that's going to be fun. And <gasps> I like a challenge. There we go. Tap that under there and get that ribbon on. Anyway. Thank you ever so much for joining me and Sorrel, who's now gone to sleep. <laughs> Let me take a picture of my cat asleep and then show you. Oops. There she is. She sat next to me asleep. Oh, <laughs> with the biggest yawn in the world. Thank you ever so much for joining us. We hope to speak to you soon. Bye.